fried chicken owner fry find. I said fried in South Korea. You might be surprised to find out that fried chicken is one of the most popular and easily sought out restaurants in South Korea. They're everywhere. And another thing to mention before we talk about this case in particular is that in Korea you will notice many different types of shops like to knock off popular brands around the world as if they'll never get in trouble for it and show the exact same logo in the title and put it on the window or whatever, the napkins. It's a thing in Korea to do this. I think there was a McDonald's knockoff right across from the university where we used to both be at. No, it was Subway. Oh. Submarine, they used the word submarine with the exact same Subway logo, except it wasn't Subway, it was the word submarine. Anyways, a gentleman who had a Korean fried chicken restaurant titled Louis Vuitton Duck, which is Louis Vuitton chicken, with the logo on the title and also on the napkins and on the takeout containers. Finally got in trouble for trademark infringement by Louis Vuitton through the Korean government and was fined $14,000 for this. They claimed that he was lowering the quality of the Louis Vuitton name by associating it with fried chicken. Can you imagine somebody walking around in Louis Vuitton merchandise with fried chicken dripping down there? <laughs> <laughs> it should be noted that besides KFC, these places are not really franchise places. Some some of them are, but they're all Korean franchises. So you can buy into that franchise and then you can open your own place and it'll be successful most likely. It's fried chicken and beer. That's pretty much all they're serving and different types of fried chicken. Then there's also other places that just open their own shop and they can do just as well. And sometimes they do this sort of thing where they copy some other famous company and then they're able to attract people locally. I'm sure we've eaten at some of these fried chicken places. Not that we ate fried chicken often, we didn't. But we did a few times. Mm. I don't know if we were eating at a franchise place or if it was at some brand knockoff place or if it was at... No, well, that'd be it, right? Yeah, I think I've eaten at both. I'm most surprised by the fact that they actually found this Louis Vuitton <laughs> restaurant. Right, right. Because Seoul is so big and there's so many restaurants in Seoul that to find one that's a Louis Vuitton chicken house, how did they find the place? Well, if you think about the way Seoul is built, there's foot traffic everywhere. So people would walk by this place, even if it's not in a super popular neighborhood, probably all the time. And that includes possibly people who work in the government who would see this. And also maybe somebody who works for Louis Vuitton because I don't know if you guys know this as well, but Louis Vuitton is probably the most popular handbag in South Korea. Probably. I don't know what would be more popular. It's sort of sickening to see how many women have Louis Vuitton bags and have the exact same pattern on the Louis Vuitton bag. And whether it's the original Louis Vuitton or if it's the knockoff, Louis Vuitton is everywhere in Korea. So this guy really wasn't gonna be able to get away with this, but he knew that he could make his restaurant popular by calling it Louis Vuitton chicken. I mean, that's really how this happened. Well, it's popular all right, but unfortunately I don't think that he's gonna make a whole lot of money off of it. Who's been to Korea? Comments. Have you ever eaten at a Korean fried chicken restaurant? Do you even remember the name of it? And what's the most ridiculous knockoff brand that you have ever seen? Let us know in the comments. And click the like button while you're down there, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.